Hello and hi everybody, welcome back to another one of this time. We are here with the newest SML movie and this one is Cody's Big Move. As soon as I saw this title, I'm assuming they're making a parody of, um, what was that movie called that they, like they made some references, not references, I guess you can say, but they've mentioned this movie in the last, in some recent SML videos. Something along the lines of Big Move. Like, like, it's a movie. Like, it's a movie. They talked about it. I forgot the name of it. Yeah, I forgot the name of it. I forgot the name of the dude on the cover. But it's called Something Big Move, and I'm assuming they made a parody about it. And, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what Cody's Big Move is besides what the hell is what the hell went on in that one movie that I just, for some reason, forgot the movie. I never watched the movie, so maybe that's why I can't remember the title, so... Yeah, but with that being said, uh, before I get into this, if you're new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you can subscribe. Um, I'm on the road to 20,000 subscribers, and if you haven't yet liked the, vid liked the video, then be sure to like it, comment something down below, and turn on notifications to be notified for any video that I upload. So with that being said, if you haven't yet subscribed and watch the original video to yourself from SML, <laughs> forgot to say subscribe to SML. The link to the original will be in the description. So with that being said, let's get into this. Today, we're going to be learning about holophones. A holophone is when you call someone and they answer the phone like, hey. Just kidding, Ross. A real homophone is a word that sounds the same but has different meanings and usually different spellings. If you want me to call a homophone, I'll just call Cody's. I was afraid he was going to say, like, homophone. Okay. <laughs> We're not learning about homophobes, Junior. What is that? It's a person who doesn't like gay people. You don't like your own kind, Cody? Well, I didn't say I was a homophobe. I guess you did. <laughs> a homophobe. A homophobe. No, I was calling you one. Well, I do like gay people. I'm friends with you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, class, now we're going to go over some examples of homophobes. There is ad ad and hole hole and road road road. Oh, and look at this one, class. Wee wee. I will now use it in a sentence. Cody likes wee wee. <laughs> of course. I mean, he does. He does. Oh, come on, he can get fired for saying that. He can't get fired for saying you like wee wee. I Jackie Chu has done far more worse things than say Cody has a wee wee. Far worse that he should have got fired for a long time ago. So Cody, that's nothing to him. And he can actually, and he called me gay. Aren't you? Well, yeah, yeah, aren't you? Like an insult. Hey, nerd, give me your lunch money. It's the end of the day. We already ate lunch. Well, then give me tomorrow's lunch money. I don't have it yet. Well, you better give me your money tomorrow. Okay, well, I guess I'll just skip lunch tomorrow. Yeah, if you don't my... give me your money tomorrow, I'm gonna beat you up. Okay, well, now I have to bring my money, and I'm really not looking forward to school tomorrow. Yeah, well, might as well not come to school at all. Tonight, you have to write 10,000 homophones and turn it in tomorrow. Ten. And if you're thinking about not doing it, just know that it's worth 90% of your school grade for the entire There's year. no way. So, good luck. Just 10, writing 10. homophones? Are there even that many? Yes, Cody. There's over 10,000 gay people on Earth. I can't believe you called me homophobic. Can you believe them? That's not... Uh, DJ Crenshaw, Perry Jamie's Crenshaw, Jamie, Jamie Jan's Jamie's Crenshaw. Crenshaw, the coolest kid in school. Yeah, that's me. What's up, Brody? That is your name, right? Uh, no, it's actually Cody. Okay, whatever. Listen, I was just wondering if you could write all 10,000 of my homophones for me. And if you don't, everybody in school is going to know you're the lamest kid ever. Uh, wow. Okay, I guess. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, I have to write 20,000 homophones. Can you write my homophones for me, Cody? No, I'm already doing 20,000. Come on, write mine too, dude. No. All you have to do is copy your homophones three times. Oh, yeah, that sounds easy. And rearrange if the teacher doesn't we're not cheating. Okay, fine. Yeah, at this point, you're going to have to pay Cody. Because if all of y'all want him to do it, might as well pay him. I mean, if I ever have to do someone's work for them, I'm going to expect something in return. Hey, Cody. Oh, fuck. Can you please do my homework, too? My hand's cramping. Yeah, sure, that's fine. I'll just write 50,000 homophones. Hey, nerd, in addition to your lunch money... Oh, let me guess. You want me to write your homophones? Yeah, how'd you know? Yeah, of okay, course. Fine. That's fine. Anybody else want me to do their homophones for them? Jeffy, you too? Okay, yeah, I'll just write everybody's goddamn homophones. I better get started. I'm gonna be up all night. God, I hate my fucking life. Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. There's only 6,000 homophones in the English language? Okay, fine. I guess I'll just take 4,000 from other languages then. Mm. 
Cody, me and your father need to speak with you. Not right now, Mom. I gotta do my homework. Well, Cody, this is more important. Jesus what Christ. What is it? Look, Cody, your mama's only fans is failing. It's true. People just don't want to pay what? to see my wrinkly old cooter. The well is running dry, but you know who want to see that old cooter? Chicago. Deep dish pizza and wrinkly old cooter. Mm-hmm. It's the land of foreign old cooters. Think about it, Cody. Why do they have the beef? So what are you guys trying to say? We moving to Chicago, silly ass. So make sure all your stuff is packed. Because all because they like... Wait, we're moving? Fans? That's right, Cody. So you have tomorrow to say goodbye to your friends. Mm -hmm. Also, Cody, don't forget to pack neutral gang code. Okay, so I just remembered the plot of that that uh, movie that I can't seem to remember the name of. It's apparently this dude that's moving. He thinks he's moving away. So he does a bunch of things before moving away to get payback to everyone, I'm assuming. And then he finds out that he's not moving out. And then he did all that for nothing. So... I, I'm assuming. I just know the plot because that's what SNL has said. They sold, they told the plot before, so that's why I know it. I never watched the movie, but I know the plot now. <laughs> so if I ever want to watch the movie, I'll expect it. And I'm assuming that's what this video is. That's how this video is going to turn out. And I know people are going to be like, Why are you predicting the video again? I hate when you do that. It's a movie parody. If you watch the movie, you'll know what the hell happened. So shut the hell up. Yeah, Chicago ain't no joke. This ain't 63rd Street. <laughs> I can't believe I'm moving. Wait a minute. I'm moving. That means I don't have to do this homework. And I don't have to do PJ's homework. Because it doesn't matter if I'm lame or not, because I'm not even going to live here. I don't have to do anyone's homework. And I don't have to give that bully my lunch money. And I don't have to take any crap from Junior and Joseph and the teacher. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Yeah. What they move. Tomorrow's going to be s Italian sausage bacon. Yeah, tomorrow's really going to be sick. I'm assuming that's what he said. Excuse me. <laughs> He's How acting cool. Oh, yeah, the homophones. Yeah, I think I got them right here on my desk. Let me just... Fuck you! I knew it. Oh, Why did I think he was going to do that? I did not know he was going to do that. I was literally going to do that. Hey, Cody, did you do our homework? Oh, you must not have seen the first two. I think I actually do have another one back here. Way in the back. Yeah, there it is! Cody, that's not nice! No, oh, seriously, Cody, did you do the homework or not? Yeah, you're right, guys. There's no way I would do it a fourth time. I don't want to do it because I don't want to get demonetized. Cody, did you do it? Did you do the homework? Come on, Cody. Seriously, we're going to fail. No, you guys are going to fail. I'm just chilling. Hey, man, did you do my homophones? Oh, hey, everybody, look who it is. It's PJ Pisses His Jammies, Poops His Jammies, Pussy Jones Grinshaw. Damn. Hey, man, that's not my name. Uh, yeah, you're right. Well, I didn't do your homophones. Hey, man, you know how popular I am, right? I could, like, totally ruin your life. Yeah, you could ruin my life here, but not in Chicago, where all day... Why would you tell him where you're moving to? Old what? Why yeah, would you I tell him? fucking homophones. Hey, everybody, Cody's officially the lamest kid ever. What the fuck? Okay. Hey, everybody, PJ pisses his jammies or his diaper, or whatever the fuck. Well, Cody, what are you doing? He can ruin your life. I don't give a fuck. All right, class, I hope you all did your homework and wrote down your 10,000 homophones. And no one really did. If you didn't do your homework, you'd realize there's only 6,000 homophones. Hey, who threw that paper ball on my face? Right over here, teach. Damn. Damn. Cody doesn't care. All right, Cody, that's it. You have attention tomorrow. Oh my god. This is gonna turn out. The entire school. Hey, how about this? Even if I do give you the money, you can still do all of it. How's that sound? Uh, okay. <laughs> wow. Well, you're not gonna be able to give him ten thousand dollars. Even if you do, you said you'd still let him do it. Yeah, I know. I don't care. Dude, what's wrong with you? Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think he's not gonna be at school tomorrow, Joseph. Yeah, he's. Not yeah, gonna he's definitely not yeah, gonna be. Like I'm moving to Chicago tomorrow. You'll just like the second time you mentioned Chicago. Yeah, I, I'm starting to think he might. Why would you tell Chicago? them where you're going yeah, if I you hate them? Might as well not tell them. Cody, I just got on the phone with the principal. Go to his office now. All right, 
Alright, losers. See you guys never. <laughs> Joseph, what was up with Cody today? I don't know, dude, but it seemed like he finally grew some balls. Hey, guys. What, Big balls. Cody, what's going on? Well, what happened at the Hopefully it's worth office? it at the Who end. Fuck knows. I just took a shit on his desk and walked out. But, Savage. Damn. Did I get suspended from school? No. Let me tell you guys what's going on. Oh, God. See, last night, my mom and dad told me I'm moving to Chicago tonight, so I don't have any consequences for anything I do. Wait, you're moving to Chicago? Mm. Yep. Well, well, what are we going to do for our best friend? I don't know. Maybe you can ask Harry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Harry? Kill that fucker. Well, what? Cody was seriously like, you can't move so to Chicago. Not... Well, I am. Well, I get what they're mean. They lost the Harry puppet. But still, I want Harry to come back, honestly. Like, at this point, Harry would be a better character than Cody. Since Cody, sometimes, he doesn't really have a good appearance. He's not as good. Cody's not as good as he was, at least three, four years ago. What? Hold on. My phone's ringing. It's probably just my They're mom. They're probably gonna ruin if they brought him back. Hey, Mama Bear, is the porridge just right? Good news, Cody. We're not moving. Yeah, I was just telling my friends that we... What? Uh, they're not moving. It turns out Wrinkly Old Coot is really popular on OnlyFans. I was just posting all those pictures to the Instagram. Yeah, your mom still is hell. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> they're they're really not really moving, so... Like, Cody, you're... It's September, you're... not April 1st, so... When is the U-Haul truck gonna be there? Oh no, Cody, we're really not moving to Chicago. They're well, not moving. Well, I, I want to move to Chicago. I, I like the Cubs and Wrigley Field and, and the Bean. Tell Dad about the Bean. No, Cody, turns out we're not leaving. Oh, your principal's calling me. I wonder what that could be about. <laughs> yeah, Cody, take those off. Take those off. <laughs> What's going on? Cody? Take those no. off. My mom has just informed me that we are in fact not moving to Chicago. But 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 you cussed out PJ Crenshaw. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you did. You did. The bully he gave you a swirly in a shitty toilet. Yeah. Yeah, I did do that. And you told me you gave him ten thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. That too. From you, yeah. Even if you brought him the money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And he kept throwing paper balls at the teacher. Mm-hmm. And then you shit on the principal's desk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I sure did. What are, you, what are you gonna do? You know, I've seen the movie Max Keeble's Big Move. That's what the movie is called. Max, whatever the fuck, Big Move. That's what the movie was called. A lot, actually. And I don't really know what I expected here. So, w- w- what are you actually gonna do, Cody? Yeah, like, what are you gonna you, do, Cody? You, you just failed school because you didn't do our homework? We... Mm, yeah, I sure did. Yeah, my life is pretty much ruined. Yeah, you're done. No, my phone's ringing again. Is oh, it's my mom. Maybe she changed her mind about moving No, to she's gonna punish Hello? you. You shit on the principal's desk, Cody? How could you? Yeah, you're uh, dead. Yeah, that's bad. You're dead. So, what, what do you, what's your plan? Yeah, what oh, are you gonna do, Cody? Shit. Hmm, shit, 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 shit. I don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. Wait, oh, my phone's ringing again. Oh. And that's the principal calling me. Directly. Gonna. Directly? <laughs> oh, Cody. Oh, my God. You can't show your face at school ever again. Nah. And we can't talk to you ever again, like in, in public. Fuck. Yeah, I know. Fake my death. I could fake my death. That's possible. Ooh, ooh. Possibly. I have the perfect idea so you can still go to school. Okay. How? All right, class. We have a new student. And her name is Clitoris. Hey, Clitoris? I'm Clitoris. And I just moved here from Chicago. <laughs> Who wants to be my friend? <laughs> Are you serious? Is that really what they did to the movie? <laughs> what is your favorite SML video of all time? I don't know. I, I don't know if I ever answered this question. I know I used to say Jeffy's 18th birthday, but my my opinions have changed over time. I don't know what my favorite SML video is on all time. Yeah, I can't really get an idea, honestly. I don't know. I guess almost any video with Mama Luigi in them. Like, those are some of my favorites. Um, what else? It's going to take me a while to think about my all-time favorite SNL videos. Yeah, I don't know. I guess almost any, like, any video with Mama Luigi in them are some of my favorites, so I guess I'll say that. So, well, <laughs> Cody, you're dead. Well, actually, no. You're going to have to be in the disguise for the rest of your life. Think about that. You're going to be in the disguise for the rest of your life. Unless everyone just forgets about you. Which I highly doubt that will happen. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Um, if I were to grade this. Honestly, even though this was a movie parody. And we saw this coming just from the title. It wasn't that bad. I honestly did enjoy this. So if I were to grade this, I'll probably give it like a... Uh, like a B minus, I will say. It was pretty funny. It was enjoyable. 
be stupid as well. So if you did enjoy this, be sure to give this video a like. If you haven't yet subscribed, then be sure to do this right now and turn on notifications to be notified for any video that I upload. And I'll catch you guys later in the next one whenever I start doing that. So hope you guys enjoy. I'll catch you guys later. So take care.